Can women smell semen retention on a man? Hmm. It's nothing to do with like how you carry yourself. It's a subconscious thing that is activated in women. Not with all men, but like one in particularly. Um, I saw him and I felt like I felt like this energy concentrating in myself, like like yeah, like I felt like going to him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I think it's very clear when someone is practicing it. Do you know what makes it so obvious, at least to me? I can sense someone's self containment. I can sense an air of of solidity within their being. It's not so fragmented. And this is something I can just sense in the energetics. It's not even your semen retention. If you're practicing semen retention, but you're still participating in very unhealthy behaviors, like, I don't know, always needing to go on Instagram and validate women's ass pictures. Mm, why are you doing that? That's leaky energy there. You're leaking your energy onto Instagram, liking random pictures of women while you're practicing semen retention. Semen retention should be looked at as devotion to thyself. Devotion to you, your awareness, your self-development, your goals, your vision, your creations, your love for yourself, filling your cup, your water bottle per se, and not allowing it to leak. Not puncturing that water bottle with a fork. I like to look at semen retention as a pure devotion to your own growth, your own spirit, your own development. And this is something for men and women to practice. And I think it's very clear when someone is practicing it. Back to the point of the conversation, can women smell semen retention? I would say to an awakened woman for sure. To an awakened woman who is in tune with her own energy, with the energy of others, of course she can pick up on it. Of when someone does not have leaky energy. And this is the first topic I wanna to discuss when it comes to semen retention. This is the analogy that's coming to me right now, you guys. When someone is practicing semen retention, holding in their sexual energy, I want to give y'all the analogy of like a plastic water bottle. Now, the plastic water bottle is full of water, your water, your life force energy, your sexual energy. Now, the more you give that away, either to masturbation, to one night stands, to, you know, unintentional interactions, whether if you're drunk or drinking, these are all very unhealthy ways to give your sexual energy to, especially if it's not backed with awareness. Because you don't know where the hell your energy is even going. Are you also practicing awareness of why you are doing it? Or are you guys just doing it to get women to sense, to smell ya? No, we gotta be aware of why we're even doing it in the first place. But I'm gonna get back to my analogy first. The plastic water bottle. When people have never um, practiced restraining themselves from sexual acts with themselves or with others, you have the full water bottle, right? But the more you have leaky energy, I like to call it, you have little punctures in that plastic water bottle, little like fork punctures all over this water bottle. So every time you go and take a drink of your own life force energy, it's leaking. You're actually, um, losing a lot of your life force energy it's seeping away and listen not a lot of people are aware of this when they encounter other individuals can they pick up on one's leaky energy i for sure can um more so because i've been practicing this so i know what it's like to have leaky energy unintentional leaky energy you'll feel drained you're like wait i'm really thirsty right now why is it all, why am I not having enough water in my cup? Cause you're giving your water away to you don't even know what. Cause you got punctures in your water bottle and it's leaking. All right. 
That's the first note I want to talk about. An analogy when it comes to semen retention is a plastic water bottle full of water. And when you practice restraining yourself, you are holding in your water. For when you're thirsty, you get to have a big gulp instead of a sip and a sip because you actually don't have that much water because it's leaking in unnecessary places. Instead of the word smell, semen retention on a man, I want to use the word sense because what it truly is when um, we interact with people who have been saving their sexual energy, it's not a smelling sense. It's, it's a sensation that we can feel energetically, we can pick up on. Now listen, <laughs> what comes into the room before you? What is it? It's your intention. And not a lot of people say intentions before they go and do something. What is your intention with this time in your life, with semen retention? What is it? Because when you have that intention, it is the first thing that comes, no matter where you are, no, no matter where you're at, no matter who you interact with, that intention is the first thing someone can sense. So if you're still being toxic to yourself, um, it doesn't matter if you're practicing semen retention. I think it's also important for men when you're doing this, cut the liking of, of unnecessary women's photos. Cut that habit out of your life. You guys don't understand. A like is an energetic exchange to you and that woman. You are being tied energetically. And I know you guys aren't aware of this because uh, we're very in tune with the physical reality. What semen retention does is it is it gets you back in tune with the internal reality that your soul resides in. Your soul resides in. The seed of your soul. That's planting seeds, all right. Planting seeds of energy, maybe in women, maybe in unnecessary ties. Now, I really think it's crucial to understand you are doing this, if you are being called to do this, or you have been called to do this, or you've been doing it for a while, it's for a much grander purpose than just a relationship. Because guess what? That will come when you are shedding away all the, all the nonsense that we get attached to in the physical with our sexual energy. Yeah. We form attachments to things with our sexual energy because it's our life force energy. So even men, during this time, do you still seek out validation from external sources? Or women also. Do you seek out validation from external sources? What are those sources? Are they Instagram? Is it dating app still to see if you still got it? Cut the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. I think it's really crucial in today's society to know how to validate yourself. To know how to validate yourself on your own without another individual in your life. Without needing materialistic gains. Validate just you as a human being. You as your unique expression.